Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to add a background image to the newsletter block in your Squarespace website. There are four simple steps we're going to take together. We're going to upload the image to your custom files. We're going to paste the custom code that's in the description beneath this video, update that custom code to contain your new image file URL, and then save your work so you can be proud of what you've done and the whole world can see it. <laughs> so everything we're doing today uh, is going to be in my 7.1 demo site, but it's the exact same for version 7. So no matter what version of Squarespace you're using, you're watching the right tutorial. So let's go ahead and hop into my demo site and get started with this one. So here we are in my demo site. I have a newsletter block right here and then our four steps outlined over here. Everything we're doing today is custom CSS. So we're going to navigate to design and then scroll down to custom CSS at the bottom. Now, this part's really cool because a lot of people don't know this exists. If you scroll down to the bottom of that CSS panel, you'll see a button that says manage custom files. That is where we're going to upload your image. I'm going to click on this button and I actually have the image right here. You can either select this arrow icon to open up the file browser on your own computer, or you can just drag and drop an image right there. I'm using a PNG. You can use a JPEG if you'd like as well. Both options totally work. Anywho, once we've got that in there, if we click on this image, you'll see this URL is now placed inside our code. Now it's telling me syntax error on line one because I literally just put a URL in there. That's not custom CSS, doesn't know what to do with it. So I'm just gonna remove that line and we'll work with that later, okay? Now scrolling down here, this is the CSS code that we're gonna use that's in the description beneath the video. I'm gonna copy this text and paste it right here into my custom CSS section. So this part where it says image URL here, we're going to replace that with the URL for the image we just uploaded. So I'm just going to hit my backspace button again. So now my cursor is between those two parentheses. I'm going to open my custom files and just click on that file name and the image will show up. Check it out. Now I have the image behind the newsletter block. I also added this code for a border radius so you could see it kind of pull in on the edges there. You can just remove that code if you want and it'll be that standard square. The image is set to cover, so it's going to stretch the whole width of wherever your newsletter block is. I'll show you here after we select save, step number four. I'm going to hop into edit and I'll pull this newsletter block down so you can see. Even when I have it taking up the whole width of the page, the entire background image is going to cover the entire space of that newsletter block. So if it's only taking up half the page like it was in the beginning, let's pull that over to the side. There we go. It'll only fill all the width of the newsletter block, whatever size it happens to be. Awesome. That's it for this super quick tutorial. Again, the code is in the description below, and this works for version 7.1 or version 7, no matter what theme you're using. Newsletter block has the exact same code name in CSS. So again, to outline those steps, upload your image to the custom files, JPEG or PNG, you're good to go. Paste the custom code below into your custom CSS. Update the code to use the URL that your image was given when you added it to your custom files and save your work. And that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. With over 30 pages of pro tips and code snippets specific for Squarespace, you can customize your site way beyond your design menu. Download your copy today at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.